time. Today, I have a story for you called Ape and Armadillo Take Over the World. This story is by James Sturm. Hmm. I actually know this person's sister. That's how I found out about this book. And I never thought of an ape and an armadillo being friends, but I just love the idea. If you had an ape for a friend, would that be fun? If they could just hold you up in their big hand and fly you around? That seems pretty fun to me. This story, look at the end pages. It looks like something exciting is going to happen. What is that? What are we looking at here? Oh, I need to find out more. In this book, oh, look at the title page. It looks like Ape is using Armadillo as one of his jungling balls. That's funny. In this story, um, they have something funny going on, which is they have the main story happening in this picture, and then they have other smaller stories happening along the bottom. So I think I'm going to read all the big picture stories and then go back and look at the little ones, because otherwise it's a little confusing to follow the story about what's going on. Okay, I'll bring the book closer so you can get a better look. And the story is told in talking bubbles. Here, oh, look at Armadillo's face. Mmm, that does not look like a happy Armadillo. Armadillo says, You're an agent of evil. We have an evil plan. You agreed to it. Ape says, Well, I changed my mind. Hmm. They're having an argument. You can't just change your mind. Can too, if the plan is unfair. Name one thing that's unfair. One thing. One thing. Everything. Hmm. Why do I have to distract the spitting serpent that guards the castle? I don't want to. And then you get to sneak in with the princess to steal the wizard king's wand. So Ape is saying that Armadillo's part is a lot more fun than the part he has to do. And that doesn't feel fair. Hmm. Then I have to fight an army of robots all by myself. While well, you get to fly away on the Queen's Royal Pegasus? Well, said Armadillo, you're too big to fit in the basket and you're too heavy to ride a Pegasus. It's still not right. So Armadillo is saying, I have reasons for deciding those decisions in the game. And Ape is saying, yeah, but you get to do all the really fun stuff and I get to do all the hard stuff. I don't want to be fighting the whole time. Hmm. I wonder how they're going to solve this problem. And how come I have to escape the castle through a sewer tunnel? Pew! See all this yucky water that he's walking in? Oh, uh, sewer water is <laughs> the water that flows under the street through the pipes and it's all the bad water that has garbage in it. It's water from potties and sinks and the drains from the street, all that yucky stuff. Well, it's a secret underground sewer tunnel. It's still a sewer. Well, as soon as you climb out, I'll be waiting for you in the getaway van. Do you mind sitting in the back? I promised the Pegasus that she could sit up front. So here's Ape coming out and saying, I don't even get the front seat. Admit it, it's a great plan. For you, you do all the fun stuff and I do all the bad stuff. It's not fair. Hmm. I wonder if they're going to be able to work this out. 
Well, that's because I came up with the evil plan. Coming up with ideas is the hardest part. Is not. Oh, it's the easy part. Oh, yeah? I'd like to see you come up with a good evil plan. I will. Fine. Mm. Well, I'm thinking. I told you it's not so easy coming up with ideas, is it? I got one. I got an idea. Listen up. This is great. I ride into an ice cream shop on a unicycle and I start to juggle. La, 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 la. And the people are saying, wow, he's good. Go, Abe, go, say the kids. While everyone is looking at me, you sneak behind the counter and hide in the tub of butter pecan ice cream. And when the next kid orders a butter pecan ice cream cone, you are on the cone all balled up. Yarn, says the kid as the armadillo bursts out. Hmm. Everyone will be so scared and they'll run out of the ice cream shop and then we get to eat as much ice cream as we want, right from the giant tubs. Mmm, chocolate chip. Mmm, butter pecan. See, I have ideas too. Yeah, really bad ideas. <gasps> they are not bad ideas. Oh no, the argument's getting worse. They are too. First of all, you don't know how to juggle. Well, I'll learn. Secondly, no one likes butter pecan ice cream. That's not true. And finally, we are agents of evil. We have to do really, really evil things. Well, scaring kids is evil. Hardly, not evil enough. We have to take over the world and everyone on the planet has to do what I say. I will be a kind but strict ruler. So here, Armadillo is dressed up as king, and all the people in the crowd are excited, and there's a banner that says Armadillo is awesome, and someone is holding up a sign that says, long live Armadillo, go Armadillo, we love Armadillo. There's even someone holding up a number one finger. Oh, Armadillo really wants to be in charge. And if they don't listen, we can build a space cannon and blow up the world. Take that! Oh, blam, it says. Look at Ape's face. Ape does not really love this plan. Ape looks a little scared. Hmm. Now that is a plan! Ape? Ape! Ape! Where are you, Ape? Oh, can't find his friend. No. Here's Ape in a tree, thinking. It got later and later, and finally Armadillo came. Ape, I've been looking all over for you. I don't want to blow up the world. I like a lot of people in the world. It's okay, said Armadillo. It was just a game. We can play another game. You still want to play, right? I don't think so, says Ape. <gasps> what if you had a special suit that you could create force fields and protect you from spit and robots? And I'd also have a suit of armor and the magic wand. Well, how about we both have wands? Yeah, we both have wands. And then when I ride the Pegasus, you get to ride a griffin. That's what this is. It's part eagle and part lion with wings. And instead of taking over the world, we can start our own zoo, but only with really cool animals like dinosaurs and giant bugs and magical creatures. Yeah. And dogs. I love dogs, says Ape. Dogs? It's a zoo, not a kennel. We can't... Then Armadillo stopped himself from saying no. 
Okay, fine. Lots of dogs, too. Cute little dogs. You're still going to play, right? Well, not yet, said Abe. What? Why not? Dogs are in the zoo. You have a wand. I've said yes to your ideas. Hey, where are you going? Follow me. You'll see. <laughs> they ended up at the ice cream store. <gasps> mm, butter pecan is actually pretty good. The end. Oh, that story had a happy ending. Armadillo learned that when you make all the decisions in the game, it's not so fun for your friends. So Armadillo learned how to say yes and add your own idea. Instead of saying no to other people's ideas, you can say, yes, and let's also do this other thing. Yes, your idea, and we'll also have this, and we'll have all the same stuff. Oh, I'm so glad that book had a happy ending. If you've had enough of this story and you need a break, you can stop. But I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to look at all the cute little things that were at the bottom of all the pages because James Sturm just had so many ideas for Armadillo and Ape. There's the main story and then down at the bottom there are teeny tiny stories. I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I'll try to hold it close. This says Armadillo and his cape. I have worn this cape for four months and three days straight. I sleep in it I will never, ever take it off, not even in the bath. <laughs> now we learn about the cape. Here's another little story. It's called Ape Likes to Play. Monkey bars are my favorite. And riding bikes. And climbing trees. Ape doesn't like hide and go seek. Because sometimes no one finds me. I'm too good of a hider. Hmm. Here's another little story. What superpower would you want? That's easy. I'd be able to change into other animals. My superpower, said Armadillo, become invisible. Whoop. And Read minds. I knew you'd ask that question. Maybe the question was anything else. Here's another little story. It says, what is the worst thing ever? <gasps> Ants. They climb into my shell and make me all itchy. Yuck. Brr. For me, the worst thing is the dark. I sleep with the light on. Lots of people are afraid of the dark. Maybe animals are too. This little story is called, If Your Friend Was a Cookie, What Kind Would They Be? Armadillo would be an Oreo. Hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Armadillo says, Ape would be a giant donut. And I don't care that a donut isn't a cookie. A donut is what he would be. <laughs> That's a funny one too. Here's another little one. What is the funniest thing you ever saw? I once saw a chicken on a bed of on a bed floating on a river of pickle juice. Is that true? Maybe. We saw that chicken on a bed at the beginning of the story, right before the title page. I don't know if you noticed it. I didn't mention it. What's the funniest thing you ever saw, Ape? A seashell bigger than a house. Is that true? Maybe. <laughs> and another. What is the biggest word you know how to spell? Gorilla. G-O-R-I-L. Um, does gorilla have one L or two L's? Armadillo. Two L's for sure. They actually both have two L's. This story is, what is the smallest word you can spell? Teeny tiny is a really small word. Teeny tiny is an even smaller word. 
That's two words. Best vacation ever. Two weeks on a jungle island. I have only a bow and arrow. I will survive. My best vacation ever is going to my grandparents' house, swimming in the lake with grandma and baking with grandpa. I wish you could see this book in real life. These pictures are so tiny. It's amazing that James Sturm knew how to draw these pictures so tiny. There's no little story on the space page because that picture took up the whole book. Back to little little stories down here. If flying saucers landed in your neighborhood and aliens knocked on your door, what do you do? Armadillo says, first, make sure they have no weapons. If they have weapons, attack first. Oh, invite them in. Do aliens like cookies? Like cookies. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes, and I invented these ghost glasses so I can see them even when they're invisible. Whoa. This one says ninja or viking. Viking ninja! Both, I guess. Your greatest invention. Popcorn hand cannon. Pop, 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 pop. And the popcorn's going right into ape's mouth. Ape says, yum. This is ape predicts the future. Macaroni and cheese for lunch. Armadillo says, you have that every day for lunch. Other things ape does not like. Bananas. Wearing socks, combs, and brushes. Best thing about school. We have a snake in our classroom. Ah, oh, Miss Kelly is the best thing. I guess that's the teacher. Armadillo's favorite candy. Caramel with a cream in the middle. Candy corn. Caramel without the cream. Who can stay still the longest? Me. No, me. Mm -hmm. You blinked. Did not. Final words, this says. Moo. Burp. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> oh, Ape and Armadillo are such funny friends. I wonder if James Sturm wrote any other stories about Ape and Armadillo. Maybe we should find out. I'm glad you came to Story Today. I'll see you again on another day, okay? I'll see you then. Bye.